Hello techies, so welcome to YCL TechSoft. So today you can learn how to install Odo in Ubuntu. For that first we need to download the Odo. Here you can see this is the GitHub for downloading Odo. Here you can select the versions which you want. So today we are going to install Odo 15. So in two methods you can download the Odo. First thing you can download the zip file. Second thing you can clone the Odo using git. So today I am downloading the zip file. Cloning the Odo uh, which will take uh, some time. So that's why I am going to download the zip file. So I already downloaded and extracted the 15 version. And if you go to 15 version. You can see some files and Odo bin. So first before installing the Odo we need some dependencies and packages so first we need to install that for that we need to open the terminal and uh, first thing we need to install or uh, we need to create a user in Ubuntu for using Odo it's not mandatory if you want to create a new user then only you can use this command like sudo add user system home this is the username so I'm not using that. The second thing I need to install the Postgres server. So Postgres is the database which is uh, used to, to store the data. So I'm installing the Postgres first. Okay, it's installing. by the way we can check here my ubuntu version is 20.0 here you can see the version is 20.0 the next thing we need to install is create a user for postgres so you can do if you created the new user then you can give the same name like Odo so now I need to give the my default username here okay so Postgres is installed and the second thing here my user is this that's why I am giving the name here okay which is also done the next thing we need to install some essential dependencies for that we can use this code okay it's installing one by one the next thing we need to install some pip dependencies pip means python install package so we can copy this once it's completed we can install the pip dependencies also Okay, so the python dependencies are installed and the next we can install the pip dependencies which is also installed the next thing 
we need to install the Node.js npm. Okay, so next we need to install the WK HTML to PDF, which is useful for the PDF reports in the Voodoo. These are all the command for installing the wkhtml. Okay, so next we need to install the git. If you are cloning the Udo, then you need to install the git first. For that we can use this command. Okay, so git is also installed. So we can close this terminal now. So we can go back to the Udo. So first thing we need to create the RC file. RC file is for running the Udo so for that we can open the terminal from here the command is udo bin minus s okay so before that we need to install some dependencies that udo have for that you can see here one requirements.txt file it have the packages and its versions we need to install before Udo. you can see the packages and its versions so we need to install this file first for that we can use pip3 install minus r then the file name Okay, it will install the dependencies and the packages. It will take some time, so we can wait. Okay, so the packages are installed. Next thing we need to create the RC file. For that, we can run this command udo bin hyphen s okay so the rc file is created you can find the rc file in the home location if i go to home you can see the rc file 
here you can see the path of add-ons add-ons means the apps which Odo already have and the admin password so if if you created the new db user or new user for Odo then you can give the username and password here this is the db password and this is the db user okay here you can see the port which is Odo run http port you can see here which is 8069 if you want you can change this port so we can go back to terminal now you can see here the port 8069 if i go to my browser then if i hit localhost 8069 you can see the Udo. so first we need to create a database for using Udo. so the master password is admin that you can see in the rc file this is the admin password which is admin so we need to give that password and the database name Udo first we can simply give it as Udo 15 then the email and password for login here I am giving admin admin and the phone number language country you can give and here you can see demo data if you want a clean database then you can avoid this or if you want a database which is understandable means how data is created and how data is related then you can take this then we can create the database which will take some time to create the database and the same time you can see the logs here what are happening while creating the database Okay, so the database cre is created here we can see some apps okay how to install and how to use these apps that we can check in the next video so thank you bye